What's up guys? So I got sent a video recently showing Django Fett managing to beat the daft Malik teams. Immediately I had, you know, knew how to test this. Everyone was like, DB, can you test this against the, the higher geared Maliks, against the, the really strong, really, really fast teams and such? And I've gone out and done that. I've recorded some footage. You can see me going in and out of battles constantly. These are not cherry picked. I can confirm I have managed to beat this, but how reliable it is, well, I'll leave that down to you. Let's do this. Okay, first let's go through the mods. I'll show you what I'm using. This is by no means the team that anyone's going to be able to run. It needs serious, serious mods. Um, and you're going to need to be even faster as you go up against the even quicker Darth Revan teams. Uh, my Bosk, 131. I had to actually slow him down. I had to put more health on him, a little bit more survivability. Because he wasn't lasting through to the final when we actually go like 5 on 1 versus Malik. He was just never making it. So survivability is an absolute must for him. Django, 284. That's, that's a fairly fairly reasonable speed. Something you should be able to actually reach. We don't need Embo or Aura. Boba, now this guy, I just couldn't get the speed where I needed it. There's a specific turn order and I could never get it there without an actual speed set. He was always just too slow with the crit mods that I had available. Yes, even though this is a test account, I have to farm my own mods. So um, there is a limit to what I can do. We had him at 281, so that's a 122 set. Uh, Zam, very, very key that you get as much potency on her as you can. Unfortunately, I can't get her quite fast enough with a complete potency set. So I have a potency primary on this bad boy. Uh, she's at 118, so 293 total, and a potency 117%. I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty out there when it comes to the, the actual overall totals. If that's the you know, if that's not good enough then how viable is this ig88 now he had to have a speed set because i had to get him faster than the enemy uh bastila if if you're not faster than that you don't get the contract off before she gets going you're screwed so i had to get a 141 set on him um so you can imagine at, at 280 if we're facing even faster bastilas this is just a no-go it's just not going to be doable um, but I'll show you the battle. I'll show you what the, the setup is. I was sent the setup. I was sent everything just to test how viable this is. My buddy here, he's actually gone out and set this team up. We're chatting right now. Um, and I beat Mobile Gamers team who also had Darth Malik in there. Unfortunately, he fell to fifth spot and I couldn't keep facing him. So my buddy Lo had to go in and actually set this team up for us for this video. Um, we've had to get the speeds in a sweet spot as well. We found at 321, Darth Revan was just too quick. We, we couldn't deal with that without increasing my whole team like another 10, which as you saw by IG88 is not doable. Um, so those elite speed modded teams, don't, don't even try it. It's, it's not going to happen for you. But here we're at 310 on, um, on Revan and Bastila was 279 total. So that should give you guys some thought of the kind of teams you're going to be able to beat. And now this is the setup. Let's see how this goes this time. First off, you've got a taunt with Bosk. Next, you've got to get grenades on and you have to stick one to Trooper. If you don't, that's it. You're going to lose. We actually got one good. Don't, nearly always it sticks, but maybe one in 10, one in 15, it doesn't. All right, let's go for the old group hug as it was nicknamed, or just the net. Now we want to use this special for Zam. Preferably getting a debuff on Bastila, which actually went perfectly. This is basic trooper again. Now we want to burn, but we want the target to be Bastila. This will reduce her max health. Right, we got that on. Now we've got hit trooper again. Always double check that because sometimes when Malik taunts, it will move the cursor to the other character and you don't want that. Right now we need to target ba uh, Bastler once again with Boba. Perfect. Now we go for the AoE with IG-88 and that should complete the contract. And it didn't. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to lose. This is one of those things where if, you don't, if the setup does not go right, you're screwed. And you can see how quickly it collapses. And yet, if we had got the contract there, it'd have been an easy win. So we're going to go straight back in now. And this is the kind of problem I'm having. Me and a couple of other guys have been testing this. And I just... Mm, it's, it's almost perfect, but not quite. And I'm wondering if maybe one Gear 13 around will solve the problem. Because I'm not sure how much Gear 13 Malik will change change the overall team um, obviously if they put it on somebody like Bastila and she then gains that additional speed you might be totally screwed but 
Um, if she's not gear 13, this could possibly still work even against gear 13 Malik, but can't test that at the moment, unfortunately. A bit like how uh, you know, Arnold can't test his Grievous team against um, the gear 13 Maliks either. There's just not enough of the this the salvage for the game changes, well, former game changes to actually get this test in. Right, let's try this again. Taunt, grenade. You stuck it, beautiful, right. Group hug, used to call it the net, but I can't, I can't stop calling it the group hug since I read that. Yes, right, perfect. We got that on as well. All right, burn with her as the target. Yep, Trooper eats that one. All right, let's get Bastila. Oh, I only shot once. Yep, so no contract again, and we're screwed again. It, there's just too many little things that can go wrong for my liking in this team. But I've seen people hyping this as something that is 100% viable because they've seen it once on YouTube. So I figured, you know, well, let me take this challenge. Let me record an actual video of how an entire day's arena climb for you might go. And this is not even a top end team. So people saying, oh, well, your team's not quite fast enough for this. Okay, well, this team is by no means super fast either. I mean, look at this. At 131, there are, there are ones in my shot that are like 150 plus. Um, and let's have a look at Revan. There are some in my shot at 170. That's a 145. So, I mean, if if I can, if they can increase the speeds on these by 2025, are you really going to be able to do it with your bounty hunters? I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm just not convinced. You can see how much I've been testing with the the crystal cost. I've been doing this all day. I have managed to beat it once, but it's the consistency which is the problem. I wouldn't want to run this in Grand Arena. I'm, there's a good chance I'm going to lose, and it's going to screw up everything. And the collapse is sudden, as you've seen. Right, taunt. Grenades. And we didn't get one stuck, so now you'll, you'll see what happens. You'll see what happens. Now we're getting nothing towards the contract. And you know what happens when the contract absolutely collapses. The burn isn't going to do anything here because she doesn't have a debuff. So that screws that up because we need to reduce our max health in order for Boba to actually get the kill. All right, he can do his double tap. Now, normally, in a perfect world, that's where the contract will activate. And obviously, that's not happening here. But we're going to carry on trying our luck anyway, because this will happen to some of you. And you might wonder, well, how much damage could I get done on the team for the sake of Grand Arena Championship or, you know, Territory Wars? Could I take a character out? No is your answer. We'll go in again. We'll try and give it a full five battles. And then at the very end, I'll showcase how the actual, you know, the win can go. And there was nothing different. Very, very similar speeds on, on Mobile Gamers team. I believe his, his Malak might have a little bit more health, but I believe his Revan is maybe another 10 slower. It's about 298, 99, something along those lines. Um, his Bastler is exactly the same speed. So nothing drastically different about the team just the RNG aspect. Grenades. All right, we got it that time. It is quite rare you don't get a grenade on Sift Troopers, to be honest. Very, very rare that that doesn't debuff Bastler as well. So those aren't the issues. The issues are the extra taps needed in order to actually activate the contract. That seems to be the biggest holdup for me. All right, Bastler, oh, one again. So once again, nothing activates and we lose. Oh my word. This is probably the worst streak I've had actually. Usually I get the setup all the time and it collapses during the actual run towards Malik. But same team and we're having a total nightmare here. Total nightmare. Hmm. Right, in we go again. not overly convinced it's going to go any different for some reason boba is letting us down here he just will not double tap 50 percent chance for it so it's very very feasible that this very same issue will happen to you as well okay we got that on we get that debuff perfect see everything else in the setup is going great except the one crucial thing activating the contract Hit you. Don't let me down, Boba. Hey, double tap. Contract activated. Right. Now we're going to target Bastila straight away with Execute. 
Boom, she's out of there. Let them do their little thing. They'll get a fair few taps off. Now, ideally, you want to target people that have the grenades on, and unfortunately, none of them do. That's not good. That's not good, because shooting on Malak is just going to stun her anyway, so really no point in that. So we're quite unfortunate there, because very, very common, actually, that you will have maybe HK or Trooper with another grenade, and, and you'll you know be able to pop one of them. We've been incredibly unlucky there. Right, HK's gone. Let's get Boba in effect, see you later, Trooper. Get the taunt back on. Uh, should be able to nuke Revan. Right, now we are down to Malak. We've got the full team. We have a very, very good chance of actually getting the win here. No! No, 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 no. Please do not go and kill Boss now. We could really, really use his help here. I'm not convinced that's actually going to get the kill. I'm really not. Let's get another debuff on. Get a burn on. Pop that. Ooh. Ooh, we're looking pretty good right now. Ooh. Come on, Boba. One more shot. Oh, and we got it. We got the victory. But you can see the kind of effort that we went through to actually get that victory. It was... um. It was rough. We had how many losses? RNG was not with us. The setup just wasn't going right. We weren't getting the attacks. So how viable is this? Oh, I don't know. Really? This is something I would maybe try in an absolute emergency. That's an interesting team that Ryan's got there. Um, so yeah, in like Territory Wars, if there was nothing but a Malik team remaining and I happen to have this and nobody else really had a direct counter left, I could give it a shot. But am I going to use this in my arena? I, I really don't think so. I mean, that was a full set of battles. That's, that's my entire climb over unless I spend crystals. So arena viability, really not convinced. And it's not going to work against the much, much faster teams because you're just not going to be able to get IG-88 and, and some of the other bounty hunters quick enough. We're well, not without using full speed sets on some of the other ones as well and sacrificing big big damage i mean i'm already having to sacrifice a crit set on boba uh, which does definitely make things harder so yeah let me know your thoughts guys get, feel free to give this a try um i don't expect first place in arena because it is just not as reliable as many people were led to believe it's a fun team and it's really really cool to see another team that can beat malik but this certainly isn't something that is going to change the meta not in my opinion Big shout out to all my subscribers and my patrons. Hope you've liked the video. Give it the old thumbs up if you did. And until next time, we out of here.